Finally, I have some very sad news to share with you today. Our Brenda Butner has passed away. Now, many of you know her as the unflappable host of Bulls and Bears, but she was much more. Allow me now to tell you how much more. She was a Rhodes Scholar, but she'd never mention it. Near the top of her Harvard class, but she would never, ever say it. You couldn't help but see the IQ. Brenda just preferred showing you her EQ. All that smarts stuff is in her files, but the more important things filled her heart. Like motorcycles. She loved them. It's true even briefly quit her astonishing broadcast career to edit a motorcycle magazine because she thought it would be fun. We used to joke that Brenda had a sort of a different bucket list in life. It's when you saw hers, you realize maybe your bucket list was the odd one because Brenda's captured what really mattered in life. Like how much she loved animals and couldn't help retweeting how delighted she was when Ringling Brothers announced it was shutting down to how much she loved her incredible daughters and the pride she took seeing her youngest vote for the very first time last fall. Little things in life that define the big things in Brenda's life. A woman who would gloss over talking to financial and political kingpins is just another day at the office, far more eager to share her plans for a girls' night out with her daughters after that day in the office. No bravado, just brave incredibly brave. You never knew what was going on in her life and how much she was going through in her life. Just that in her sickest moments battling an unrelenting cancer, there was Brenda cheering you on, whether it was staffers whose birthdays she would never miss or sick colleagues to whom she was always reaching out, including me, checking in after my heart surgery and urging me, me to be strong as she carried a far greater life and death burden, but she never said a word, ever. She took stock of life much more than any stock in life. It's what separated her from everyone else in this business, not just dollars. You see, Brenda had depth. It seems fitting that Brenda was among the very first to put a kind female face to this once stayed old male bastion of business. It was she who first invited all into this often off-putting world with something called the Money Club. She once told the Sun Sentinel being a woman actually gave her an edge. Women are not afraid to simply admit they don't know about something, which men rarely do, she said. So women realize there is no such thing when it comes to understanding an investment. Thing is, Brenda didn't ask stupid questions. She asked real questions, and woe to the guest who wasn't ready for them. Brenda kept score without ever having to settle scores. Everyone deferred to her. Everyone listened to her, maybe because everyone respected her. A woman whose only bias was the clock and whose only goal was giving equal time to all. Everybody be quiet, please. Hold on. Wait a minute. Now, these are questions are going overseas. Also. Stop. You guys. Don't talk over each other. Majority Take a look. Sir, surveys, just majority a minute. of Excuse unions. Excuse me, you had your minute. You had your time. Sir, Malia, you our deficit. You like, yeah. Malia, hold on. Let Gary yeah. B. finish, please. Go ahead. Thank you. That always went well. A critic once said of Brenda, she does panel shows right because she gets the fact that it's about treating your audience right. She had their back and she was reaching forever to remind them Fox did too. Even sick at home cheerfully promoting the shows viewers would catch at home. Let it be known that Brenda Butner made us want to watch a business show with heart, her heart, her spirit. She democratized dollars and just made sense. Welcome, everyone. I'm Brenda Butner in for Neil Cavuto, and this is Your World. Major conviction of the one-time top dogs of one of the biggest companies in the country. Neil? Brenda, I think I can see the lead of Bulls and Bears tomorrow morning. <laughs> you right got there. it. <laughs> People say, how do you make money on Wall Street? You watch Neil.
That's as simple as that. That's the secret. First to Brenda Butner at NYMEX. Brenda, what the heck happened today? Hey, Neil, in a supply-starved market, almost anything can push up the price of a commodity. Neil, get ready. You think you're paying already at the pump? Not close to it. What happens? It's very easy. It's hot. It's summertime. It will cool down. I think we should spend more time paying attention to the smartest woman on this show because she's absolutely right. Brenda, what do you make of his, his shameless stuff? I he think got? he's really smart. <laughs> and handsome. It's up significantly since this whole thing began. It, it, it's not a matter of crawling in a cave. We have done amazingly have. to stop this war on terror. I just don't think you can be... Uh, you have to be prepared uh, for the next absolutely. day. What does that mean, artificial? The market goes up. Yeah. It goes up. guests, well, they generate a lot of heat. And as Neil would say, wait, wait, this is a very important business story. I'm talking about the hunkiest members of the New York City Fire Department. Any, anybody set a fire just so that they could meet you? Don't give them more power than they deserve. Get out there and tell the story. Yes, <laughs> the truth. Can. The truth. Brenda's like listening to Newt Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just comment on Brenda. In the world I live in, it's Gary's world where everything is good. <laughs> Prices are stable. There's no inflation. There. There's, golf, there's no you downside. You make a lot of money. It's, it's a good world, uh, Gary. Gary's world what, is a good world. You could be a politician, too, because any question you don't like, you just don't answer it, but you still make me feel like you did. <laughs> I have the answer to this whole holiday sticker shock. Domino's. How much sugar have you had it's today? It's called trivia. Yeah. Okay, John, it's are you a bull or bear on that? I like a Coke and your uh, Domino's pizza in your fridge, Brent, is my favorite meal, but not to stock. <laughs> All right, you coming to dinner. Yes or no, are you available? No, no, I'm married and I have two children. How about you? I'm taken. Taken. Oh, man. Well, it was still good. And, you know, there are some days when I'm so glad Neil is on vacation. I do not have a right to have to pay them to sit at home and watch us on television. But that is insane. But, wait you know, a second. but, but hold on. You know what? He also wrestled a bear. <laughs> so most people That's can't insane. do it the same way he does. Today, in 2015, people are going to be wearing athletic clothes all the time. Back to the future. John, what did you look like back then? <laughs> that was a bi-level cut. That was not Whoa. a bullet. Bubble. I'm a You're bear on Jonas. You're cute. Take your best shot at Gary's <laughs> I've had bigger lunches than Gary. <laughs> no doubt. And guess what? Gary B. really is rich. No, matter what <laughs> no way. Don't tell anyone that. You could save a lot of money just having Gary B. on. He could be the host <laughs> and the guest. <laughs> <laughs> the questions and the answers are. That's great. Oh, there, there I go. have to wear your shirt today if you didn't want to, Bradshaw. Uh, anyway, well, what anyway. about me, though? <laughs> um, it's the same reason you wear polyester okay. pants and have dirty shirts oh when you're Oh, my gosh, we're taking there. hits right Take that, geezers. John, please save us. <laughs> Predictions. 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 Take it away. Oh. Lulu's a dolphin's cheerleader. Lulu is a true treat. <laughs> Looking dogs in the eyes is good for humans as well. That's the latest research, and they're the largest global company in veterinary medicine. Watch out. Ramon's going to replace one of you guys. You're like a treat, right? It's the albino dog. I'm a treat. Yeah, you're I'm a sorry. treat. I'm a tree. I'm a tree. Poor tree. You know, there are a lot of female viewers who would like to be a tree hugger right now. I think you are. <laughs> Krispy Kreme up 15% in a year. I want the Jonas diet. <laughs> Just a glass like I like after a hard day's work, which is why Diageo <laughs> will be up 20% in a well, year. Well, can you blame them? Just a glass. But where's it's Saturday the good morning, stuff? Saturday morning, you lush. Where's the box wine? Come on. Save our animals, okay? You don't get toys like this on the rest of these shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brenda Butner, Fox News. When is the last time, the last time, you laughed at a business show? I don't know. Business journalism 
is never going to be the same. I just don't know, now that she's gone, whether we'll ever be. Brenda Butner, gone way too soon at 55.